we've been teaching type at Cooper Union for 150 years and typographics is this amazing extension of that. We started Typographics at Cooper Union four years ago to continue our commitment to typography and people who use typography. Of course, it also attracts people that make type and people that are selling type and people that are obsessed with type. Typographics is workshops, tours, a book fair, type lab with a conference at its heart. We try to emphasize people who use type in interesting ways. So it's less about, I made this work, I made this work, I made this work, and more about was there a problem that you solved with that typeface or sort of an interesting conceptual idea with that type? For instance, when Jonathan Heffler presented Inkwell. The idea stuck with me that there could be a typeface that is informal and functional at the same time. And he talked about the personal need for that typeface and the history of it, how it evolved, how the team tackled the different parts of it. To have access to that kind of material is just incredible. Of course, we want to hear from our heroes, but we also want to hear fresh voices. Yes! Also, I love it when the audience like communicates with me, so don't stop. We call Typographics a festival because it's not just the two days of lectures. You can go out in the world and get walking tours and see historic type in New York City and meet with historians and visit design studios. And we also have the Type Lab, which provides an intimate setting to look at type look at the tools that make type, and meet the people who are really producing type in the world. Type Lab started as a kind of anti-conference. It was a place for all the people that sort of had to go to a conference, but really just wanted to talk to a few people that they knew were doing the most cutting edge work. For the weeks before and after the conference, we organized workshops in lettering, sign painting, coding, typography, and within typography, we had a workshop last year with Michael Durrett where he worked with image and type. It's really significant to me to be able to come back here where I was once a student so, so many years ago and, and now I, I never imagined that I would be back here um, on the other side of the, the table, so to speak. Last year, because we used the neon typeface ohm, we asked Thomas Rinaldi, who's a historian of neon, to give walking tours. And for a couple of nights, he took groups around looking at vintage New York neon. One of the great things about typographics is that we host a book fair, where we convert our large gallery into a marketplace for rare booksellers and publishers. This is a chance for you to hold a rare book in your hands and see how the type hits the page, or talk to a publisher about your next project. If the question is why you should come to Typographics, it's because if you're obsessed with typography, if you're obsessed with working with type, if you want to meet type designers, if you want to meet industry professionals, if, if you really just want to have somebody to talk to about your work or show some samples and get some feedback, this might be the best conference in the United States to come to. It might be the only one to come to where you're going to have a personal connection with the people at the conference.